problem seven on my computer here. The following enamine can be made by the reaction of an amino ketone in the presence of a catalytic amount of acid. Show the amino ketone starting material and provide a mechanism for the reaction. So the first thing I want to do is find the amino ketone starting material and how might I do that? Well, I've been going to ChemDraw and this is the compound that I'm trying to make. I know that I make enamines. This is an ene, an alkene, and an amine, an enamine. It's a cyclic enamine. And I know I make them from uh, carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketones. So I'm going to make an enamine, the simplest enamine I can think of. And that would be a simple enamine from acetone and some secondary amine, just a generic secondary amine. And I'm not going to go through the mechanism for this, but I will go through the mechanism for the other one. Sorry, I needed a reaction arrow here. So this is the, the enamine that I would make. And I am just trying not to take too long to do this. There we go. So the enamine that we would make from this reaction involves the nitrogen attack and the carbonyl carbon eventually displacing that oxygen and it also has to remove one of the protons on one of the alpha carbons either this one or the other one doesn't matter but I'm gonna make it this one there we go and there we have the simplest enamine if we look then here's our uh, acetone carbons and we can find see those in the product very nicely our R groups are nitrogen. So all we have to do is think about what would that look like here. Uh, so there's the nitrogen and its alkyl groups. That nitrogen carbon bond, that's the same as this nitrogen carbon bond. Okay, so it's that nitrogen carbon bond that used to be this carbonyl compound. So I can think of my starting material. All I have to do is go down here and copying this. I'm going to pull it down here and I'm going to remove that bond there and it actually becomes a carbon-carbon or a carbon-oxygen double bond. It's going to be awkward to drop this way so I'm just moving this there we go that is the starting material that easy I figured out the starting material uh, it's not very pretty the way it's drawn but it was pretty easy to do now all we have to figure out the next part of the question is show the amino ketone starting material we've done that and provide a mechanism for the reaction now I just have to figure out how did I get from here to here uh, we were told that it was under acidic conditions I'm gonna do some equilibrium arrows here and we're going to throw a proton out here because we have some acid. There we go. There's our proton. That's going to start things off. Now we know the most likely place for this proton to protonate is this nitrogen here, uh, but we want to protonate the oxygen to activate the carbonyl compound. Even though we know that the nitrogen is more basic, that's just not going to lead us anywhere. So I'm going to put these here. And what I'm going to do is, I don't like the arrows in ChemDraw, so I'm going to haul all this stuff over to, oops, PowerPoint. There we go. Well, it's kind of big structures. We'll see if we can. I like using the arrows in PowerPoint better. And if you set this up, there we go, we protonate. Now, 
Uh, all we've done is protonate that. So I'm going to move everything over. Oops. I'm going to copy it, is what I'm going to do. And all I've done is protonate this oxygen. So I've got to get rid of one of the electron pairs. I'll actually get rid of both of them because I'm not going to need them. We just protonate it. Actually, I don't like that there. I prefer it over there. It looks prettier. And that's just a proton. Now, when we protonated this, our positive charge is no longer on that hydrogen. The positive charge is now on the oxygen. So let's put a positive charge in that oxygen. Chemdraw is now happy. The next step of the reaction, we've activated our carbonyl. We're going to use a lone pair from the nitrogen. Put it right there. And we're going to attack the carbonyl carbon. So let's pull it over in ChemDraw so we can draw the arrows. I'm sorry, I'm pulling it to PowerPoint because I like the arrows better in PowerPoint. And I'm going to grab the arrows that I use. That lone pair is just going to attack. That carbonyl oxygen. Now I have to promote the electrons in the carbonyl oxygen up onto the pi system as well. So I'm just going to uh, do that by showing you that. So we formed a bond between this nitrogen and this carbon. So let's uh, go back to ChemDraw and do that. So I'm going to not copy this whole, well, I will. I'll copy this whole molecule and bring it over here. But I want to neaten it up a little. So I'm going to, uh, I'm actually hooking these up. Get rid of that lone pair of electrons. Let's, let's simplify this. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff because I want it to be pretty. No. There we go. Uh, and so that's the bond I formed there. So I still have uh, would have looked like this. So I have my OH. There's my OH and I have a methyl group off of there. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna just get rid of this. Oh yeah, where's our positive charge? We had this lone pair of electrons right there and they formed this nitrogen carbon bond, so our, our positive charge now has to be on that nitrogen. And when we put the positive charge there, what we're going to see is we still have a proton around. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shorten things up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do a proton shift. My proton is going to shift from here to here. So I can do that. All I'm going to do is cheat in ChemDraw. I'm going to move this, copy it, put it up here. There we go. Now I'm getting rid of the, uh, I'm putting a positive charge on this oxygen. So now I have H2O. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my height. There we go. Move this hydrogen up a little. Too. 
even though it may be a tad ugly. There we go. And I have to get rid of uh, the positive charge over here. There. I have this compound. Now I'm going to take this lone pair of electrons in on my nitrogen. And I'm going to use them to form a nitrogen. Oops. Yes, I'm going to use them to kick off the water. Let's grab that. Let's bring that into uh, PowerPoint. Oh, let's move all this down. Because I am going... Yes, I didn't. There we go. So I'm going to now push these electrons. They're going to form a nitrogen carbon double bond. And at the, the next step, uh, it's not really a step, we're also getting rid of this as water. There we go. So what do we have now? We now have the aminium cation. We're going to have this thing. Uh, I'll just copy everything. Pull it over here. Pull some equilibrium arrows up there. We've gotten rid of uh, the water. We make this carbon nitrogen double bond and uh, we have a positive charge. Where's our positive charge? It was on the oxygen that left as neutral water. So our positive charge, we moved those pairs of electrons. So that's where our positive charge is, is on the nitrogen. I'm going to put it, yeah, let's put it right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that, oops, this is a CH3 group, so I'm actually going to, uh, oops, sorry. I'm going to put one of the H's out. I have water. And it has lone pairs of electrons on it. There we go. Pull it up here. And that's going to have enable me to do my final equilibrium arrow. There we go. So the lone pair of electrons are just going to Pull off that proton, and the electrons that, oops, the electrons that were in that carbon hydrogen bond are now going to move and they're going to form carbon carbon double bond, and the electrons that are in the carbon nitrogen pi bond are just going to find themselves on the nitrogen. As a lone pair, and what we have then is our product. 
little bit messy, I would do this and then normally I would clean it up some, but this is the final product that we have. There we go. That's it. Oh, what's left? Uh, we have a, we started off with a proton. Oh, I can't do that. So we have a proton. I'm just going to throw it down here. And we have a molecule of water. Even though That's the other product. There we go. From start to finish, how long did I take? We'll see.